guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a video that you guys requested. This is gonna be my face brushes 101 video. So if you guys are interested in finding out what my favorite face brushes are, just keep watching. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I am trying to grow my channel, uh, hoping to hit 500 subscribers soon. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please, please go ahead and hit that red button down below. It really helps me out. You know, it really helps me get recognized. So I do appreciate everyone that has subscribed so far. Also, if you are a fellow YouTuber, definitely leave your channel name down below. I'd love to check it out. And without further ado, let's get into my favorite face brushes. So first of all, I want to thank everyone that requested this video. It really, really made my day and I'm sure you guys are so, so curious. I do have a ton more face brushes, but this is kind of how I store them. Again, the same way I store my eyeshadow brushes. I have these clear containers and there's four dividers in these. So I have little labels on here so I can categorize my brushes. So these are my bronzer brushes, my highlighters, my contour brushes, and my concealer brushes. All very important part of the face routine. Now for a bronzer brush, a really good rule of thumb is to look for something with this shape so it can distribute the product and then blend it out as well because with a bronzer brush you don't want like a thin line now that's gonna be different from a contour so let I'm just gonna focus on bronzer first so I like nice big fluffy brushes like this because it really helps like blend the product on your face so this one for example is the Morphe M527 and if I am right this is supposed to be a dupe for this very expensive brush which is really bougie of me but I just wanted to show you guys it because I'm super proud of the fact that I have it in my collection and I just found like a sticker on it so <laughs> I'm gonna peel that off because it's gonna drive me crazy knowing that it's there okay so yeah anyway I'm very proud of this brush this is a Tom Ford brush and it's the only Tom Ford brush I have but a lot of beauty gurus swear by this brush and of course me being the person that I am I had to get my hands on it so these again are very nice big fluffy brushes that you can really blend out your bronzer with so I do really like that another bronzer brush that I do like to use all the time is this one this is a Morphe M523 as you can see it's dirty again it's like a smaller baby version of this but I really like it because again it does a really good job of blending that bronzer and it has a nice fluffy shape so it's not just applying like a thin layer of product or a thin line of product and you can really buff the bronzer away. So if you have any questions related to bronzer that I didn't cover or bronzer brushes, definitely leave me comments down below because I can in, like address those individually. Next is highlighter brushes. Now highlighter brushes come in so many different shapes and sizes. I have this one here too is a highlighter brush. So let's talk about these. Now you can highlight with a fan brush. I've seen a lot of beauty gurus and these are nice because they're really good at like, you know, lightly dusting the product and distributing it. So it's not gonna give you like a streak. It's gonna be nice and blended. This is the Morphe M310 fan brush. So I really like this one. Nikki Tutorials talks about this, I believe. This is another one. This is the Sephora Pro Contour. And this was the brush I bought when there wasn't a lot of highlighting brushes. So I was looking for a nice like teardrop shape because this can concentrate the product but also it looks like a really big like blending brush so I can really like rub the product out if I put too much on and these Sephora brushes are amazing. They are pretty expensive in my opinion because I do have a lot of Morphe brushes, you know, say what people want to say about Morphe. I do still think they're the most affordable for me, especially if I use like a discount code. Um, they make it very affordable and I was also getting the Morphe monthly subscription, which was a really nice way for me to grow my brush collection. Now one of the most iconic highlighting brushes is the Anastasia A23 brush. I had to try this brush out because again, everyone uses this on YouTube and I do think it's a good brush. But I don't think it's something you have to have. Um, what I would say if you're on a budget is to try some of the Morphe brushes. Otherwise, this one is easily available at your local Target. This is the Real Techniques setting brush. So this is what it looks like. It's so inexpensive. You can even order this on Target.com. And I love this for highlighter. I also love it for setting underneath my eyes. But usually I use this for highlighter. It's a synthetic brush and it is 
freaking amazing. So if you want a good highlighter brush, I would totally recommend this one over any of the brushes I'm talking about today. Now these two are the highlighting brushes that are super well known on YouTube uh, by Morphe. This is the M501 and the M510. They're both different. This is a goat hair brush and this is a synthetic brush, but they're both really good for highlighters. So if you decide to place a Morphe order, either of these are going to be really nice. I also like this one. This is a Morphe M509. I actually got this in a monthly subscription box from Morphe and this one I feel like is a little too big for my face. But again, it's nice because it diffuses that highlighter. But also with highlighter, you do have to be really careful because you want it to hit the like the high point of your cheekbone, but you don't really want it to drag all the way down. So be careful when you're using a bigger brush. I did actually use this today to highlight my shoulder, and I think it's a nice brush for that because it still like helps blend the product, but you can cover a much larger surface with this. So I do like this brush for highlighting as well. My all-time favorite contour brush I have is this Real Techniques contour brush. I don't know why it's so dusty. I actually haven't contoured in a really long time, so that's why it is so, so dusty. And I actually forgot, I had to show you guys this one. This is the e.l.f. blending brush, and I'm sure you guys have seen this at your Target. These two are amazing. This one, it was the first contour brush I found that I love because it's thick and it's dense, but it's not like fat as in like, it's not like spread out, so it's very like, it holds its shape when you're blending, so it gives that really nice contour line, but it's not like a thin line. It's still like blended enough where it doesn't look fake. And the same with this brush. I also like to use this for foundation because it's a nice thick brush. I don't have a lot of Morphe brushes that I particularly use for contouring. Um, these two are from the drugstore and they're honestly my favorite, so definitely grab those. If you ever need a contour brush, those are the ones I would recommend. For concealer, I really only have one favorite brush for concealer and it's the Morphe M335. I believe this was a recommendation by my friend Nathmi and I haven't looked back. I actually have like three or four of these because I'm constantly using them in my collection. And what I love about this brush is it's a little, it's a blending brush but it's small. So it's perfect for blending cream, concealer, any type of concealer. I can always like smoothen it out if I don't want to use a sponge that day. This brush is my go-to concealer brush and I'm sorry I don't have anything else that I could tell you guys about because that's just my go-to concealer brush and I don't know what else to tell you. So I'm gonna put this away and I'm gonna switch places and grab this one. Now these are some other brushes. Um, these are my foundation brushes, my setting brushes, my blush brushes, and my powder brushes. So again, I do have more brushes than this. I just don't have them all here. So. Anyway, this is my go-to uh, foundation brush. This is by Real Techniques. I buy these and stock them up all the time because if I'm not gonna use a sponge, I will use a Real Techniques brush and this is just their face brush, expert face brush. And this is amazing. It's a nice fluffy brush. And uh, once you start using it, you know, it really, really is nice at buffing the product into your face. And these are so affordable, well-made. You can get them at Ulta. Target, any drugstore, and they last a really long time. So I have like, look at this one, it's an older one. I mean, it's been through the ringer. As you can see, this one is brand new. I haven't even used it yet, but I honestly have like four of them. I'm sure I have more in my collection. Probably some of them are dirty, but I love keeping these on hand because they are my favorite, favorite foundation brush. Another recommendation by Morphe, there is a Morphe set on their website. If you look, it's the set with like five of these brushes. They're all kind of like that foundation brush uh, by Real Techniques. They're fluffy, but they're dense enough where they really buff in the product. So I do like these, they don't have names. So you'll just have to like try and identify this white handle. I know they still have it on Morphe's website. So if you're curious, definitely grab that. Next. the brushes that I use to set underneath my eye. So for that, I usually like a nice dome shape. This is the Morphe E46 brush, and then my other go-to is the Morphe M529. Again, this one is dirty because I use it all the time, but these are the brushes that I use to grab setting powder and then just set my under eyes, 
down the bridge on my nose, the sides here, my chin. Um, these get all over my face, so I like to have a little bit of a smaller brush but had a dome shape and a little bit of a pointed shape too because it can really get into those hard to reach places. So Next for blush, I have a few favorites that I want to show you guys. So this is the Morphe E4. And this is really nice again because it has it's dense but it's very light it's not overly dense this shape is amazing because it deposits the most amount of product here and then you can just lightly sweep it up your cheek and it's just an amazing powder blush brush you can use this for bronzer as well i really don't think that each brush is just used for one thing i'm just trying to categorize things so it makes it easier for you guys to keep track of stuff this is a gem. This is so random because you can't buy this brush anymore, but I had to show it to you guys. This is a Sony Akashic brush that was like limited edition, and I hate most of the brushes from this set, but I love this one. This is my go-to brush for like ColourPop. This one does an amazing job of picking them up, and I just pat it on my cheeks. I love this brush so much. If you are on a budget or you don't want to order online, this is another really good Real Techniques brush. This is the Real Techniques blush brush and it's amazing. Again, I love their shape and it's really good at picking up blush and then you can just blend it out so you never put on too much blush with this brush. And then the last category I have is powder brushes. And honestly, these aren't ones I use very often. I just have big ones. I never actually powder my whole face, but I do have these on hand if I ever need to do that. So I have a Real Techniques powder brush and then the e.l.f. pointed powder brush, which I can also sometimes use for under the eyes or just, you know, powdering my whole face. This is a giant Morphe one. Again, that's kind of nice for under my eyes or just powdering my whole face. So. so that's basically everything in my you know face brush collection. So I hope you enjoyed this face brush 101 video. Uh, if you have any questions, definitely leave me a comment down below because hopefully I covered everything, but you know, you can never really remember to cover everything in a video, but I'd be happy to answer any of your questions. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, definitely do so by clicking that button down below. Thank you so much for spending time with me and I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Bye!